You know, there's a lot of old, capable business jets that are just in dire need of avionics upgrades. And that's easier said than done for a lot of them. But Avidyne is going after that market with its Atlas FMS system. And uh, Tom Harper is going to tell us about it. So what we're trying to do with this program is really extend the life of some very capable airplanes that uh, have an obstacle in that the old EFIS systems, they were invented before LPV was even a, a, a thing. And so to change the software, even if it's possible, it's a very expensive upgrade. And what we tried to do is come up with a way using the Atlas systems to do that conversion internal to the box. The EFIS thinks it's flying an ILS, but we're sending it LPV information, and that allows you to put vertical guidance on the glass without doing a comprehensive overhaul of the airplane. And there are a ton of these airplanes out there that are in this predicament where they've got a very viable airframe, but they don't have a way to upgrade to the new technology. And we're doing that through Atlas and with our IFD program on the Lear 55 on the 60 with the 31A, the 36, 35, Gulfstream 3, uh, some of the Falcons, uh, Piaggio, the King Air. So there's a, there's a whole host of those airplanes that, that we think we can come in and for a very nominal cost relative to the hull value, give them some incredible value and extend the life of those birds. So we've uh, announced at the show we've launched a Lear 55 program for the dual Atlas system. Uh, we've got several programs uh, in, in process, but we were happy to announce the Lear 55C with dual Atlas that gives them the ability to have LPV approaches. Uh, the, the dual Atlas package uh, lists for 90,880 and uh, it gives them synthetic vision, uh, electronic ch uh, charts and uh, airport diagrams, wireless connectivity to four flight, and of course the LPV approaches. So it's an exciting program, uh, one of many to come. As for availability, we're already starting those installs now. We've got several MROs who are working the STCs, and those will be made available. Uh, some of them are the STCs we're doing, and some of them through the MROs. So uh, a lot of opportunities out there, and we're looking so very forward to that in the, in the BizAv market.